Hey folks, Looks Ninja Swirl here. These are my new Ouija planchette molds that we got the other day and I said I would do in a future project. So here we are in the future. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a couple. I have four tumblers over there I need to mix up resin for. So I'm gonna mix extra and I'm going to start by brushing in my Vivid Hollow Teal Mica and my Shimmer Flash Gold Mica. So I'll do, I'll pick, I'll pick a couple here. I'll do maybe this one and this one. And do teal here and the, the gold shimmer here. And um, after I take out the, the 80 milli milliliters or so I'll need for the tumblers, I will mix my new Glitter Chimp Deep Space Holographic Black basically into the rest of the resin and pour it into those two molds. And if I have extra, I can pour it into other molds. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of molds here. So um, this should be relatively straightforward. I'm going to paint into these molds. I had another idea, but I don't have the uh, materials for it yet. So I'm gonna get those tomorrow. So that may be a, a, an upcoming project. I wanna try painting in one of these molds with nail polish because I've seen that work on another channel and I'd like to try it myself. So I will be getting the nail polish Tomorrow I do not wear nail polish, so I don't have any here, <laughs> but I can get some. And um, then we will see how, how those turn out. But for today, I'm gonna to use the mica powders I already have. So you'll see me um, brush these and then mix up some resin, pour it in, then we'll come back and see how it looks after it's demolded. That's um, interesting looking. Next up, we will mix some resin. And we're back. Boy, howdy, it's a good thing I had some extra, extra molds real handy because I overestimated, as usual, I definitely overestimated how much resin I would need to fill these two, I believe, were the ones I was shooting for. So let's do an unmolding and see what we got. Yep, okay, these were the two I, I painted micas into. Well, that's pretty. 
I missed a couple spots where there are, uh, well, indentations now on this side, but raised pieces on the inside of the mold that I could have painted onto and I just didn't, but actually <laughs> that is beautiful. I love how that turned out. I hope you can see it. Very, very pretty. Okay. Let's see how the next one turned out. This was a little, a little odd just because I mean, the, the mica didn't stick to the lines in the mold. It was just sort of everywhere. So, so yeah, it looks like it's everywhere. <laughs> I'm not as crazy about that. I, I kind of figured I wouldn't be. Let's see if I can get you a good, I mean, it's really beautiful, but at the same time, it's kind of sloppy looking. So put that aside. These need to sit on a flat surface for another, oh, easily 24 hours. They're quite bendy. I used the KS uh, liquid stone, the, their countertop resin. Okay, and here's what they look like without any mica painted into them at all. And what I'm gonna do with these is um, use a, acrylic paint. Uh, paint it in and then let it set for a few minutes, wipe off the excess and hopefully have a beautifully accented piece that way. Whether it's acrylic paint or possibly my paint pens, I haven't, so we could do both, I guess. Okay, here's, this one doesn't have any indentations, no etchings, no nothing. It is just, it is just a plain planchette with that beautiful black holographic abyss glitter in it. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And I'm not going to unmold this one. I'll fill this with other excess and unmold it eventually when it's full. Obviously, I let I let resin go everywhere. You saw how sloppy my pour was. I should have transferred the resin to a paper cup, then I could have made myself a good spout. But that's okay. Learned a lot of things for next time. And here is one that says yes, no, and goodbye on it that I didn't paint with anything. So we'll do there we, go. we will do uh, the acrylic paint or paint pen on this one as well. So let me put that aside somewhere. I'm seriously running out of room in my craft room. I thought this would be such a great room and would last forever, but I've managed to really fill it up. So here's what we have so far. We have these that I pre-painted with micas into the mold and these that I'm going to paint with a paint pen or acrylic paint out of a tube or a bottle and then wipe the excess off. So stay tuned for that and we'll see how this all turns out. And we're back. So here are the two Ouija planchettes we poured and just demolded that do not have any coloring on them at all so far, except for the glitter that's in the resin. So for this one, the one that says yes, no, and goodbye, I guess I should, well, <laughs> I turned it so goodbye would be right side up to me, but uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? I am going to use Deco Art Dazzling Metallics in Peacock Pearl. This is just an acrylic paint I picked up at Michael's. And I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out and dip a cheapo Walmart brush in there, put on my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. And then basically brush this everywhere I have indents
Okay, so I'll put that one aside and let it start to dry up and we'll go on to our paint pen. Now I got these, it's a paint marker pen Neu Top Premium. Um, I got these off of Amazon, I will link to that below. So far I've, I've used some of the colors, I haven't used all of them. Everything so far has worked really well. I, uh, I used another one of these pens to paint uh, the rune markings onto a set of rune, resin rune stones I made. I don't have them anymore. They're on their way to the recipient, so I can't show them to you. I will link to that video below. You can see how that went. Um, it worked. It worked pretty well. Again, you get excess because some of the indentations are too tiny for me to get the, the nib into and not have it kind of slop over the edge. All right, so we will now let this set up as well for 10 to 15 minutes, and we'll come back and clean off both of these and see if one compares better than the other. We're back. Uh, first off, I have been advised by some YouTube videos not to use paper towels, but to use um, specifically Dollar Tree coffee filters. Not Walmart coffee filters, because they can be fibrous but Dollar Tree coffee filters because they wipe the paint away without getting little fibers stuck in anything. So we're gonna give this a try. If it doesn't work, I may have to go in with a, well, it's coming off, I have to go in with a Q-tip. Alrighty. Like, am I getting it where you can see it? There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, let's see how we did over here with this one.
looks pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. I'll go in and clean up between the letters with a, maybe a toothpick. All right. So there you have these two. I'll see if I can do this without getting, making use of the sunshine here. I think these, these still need a little bit of extra cleaning up and they need to be um, either spray sealed with a gloss clear, that would do the trick, or a top coat of resin. I would probably do the gloss clear, to be honest with you. But, you know, either way, I think it would look gorgeous. Which way do you like better? Brushing on the ink, or sorry, brushing on the acrylic paint and then wiping it off, or using a pen, a paint pen, to basically push. This still has so much paint on it. Definitely has more residual paint than the other one. Or stickier paint, maybe. Okay, so this way with the um, acrylic paint painted on and then wiped off, or this way with the, the acrylic paint pen, a white paint pen in this case, and then wiping the excess off in both cases with alcohol and some uh, coffee filters. Or we also have the way we did we, the royal we again, as always. And we have these two that I did by brushing micas in the molds first. So let's do a vote. Let's do them in order. I brushed this one first, so that'll be number one. I brushed that one second, so that'll be number two. Uh, then I painted this one, so that's number three. And then I painted this one, so that's number four. So tell me below in the, the comment section which you prefer. Number one, number two, number three, or number four. Thanks, folks. I appreciate you joining me on this video journey today. Well, we did hum a set of Ouija board planchettes. Stay safe, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.